Some of the stereotypes I think that women playing sports have faced, and even girls, is that you know they're feminine, that they shouldn't be working that hard, their bodies are different. And um, I think the cool thing that I've seen over the years, and even in my time as an athlete, was the opportunity to develop programs specifically for females to understand how their bodies work, but also to get the most out of them. I think we work very purposefully and very diligently to try to take the stereotypic perceptions encounter them on behalf of the women athletes. They were prevalent, they were overt, they were subtle. But thank goodness today, in my mind's eye, we really don't have to counter them. It is respected uh, to be an athlete today as a woman. It is valued as an athlete today to be a woman. So I think many of the stereotypic behaviors of the past have really gone by the wayside. The biggest thing from high school to college is that there was just more. And you know, fortunate to come to a place like NDSU where the value in women's sports was really high. And I, I immediately felt that from high school to college on what was different. When I got involved, we had strong women. We had Lynn Dorn as our women's athletic director. You had uh, Joan Cronin at Tennessee. You had, uh, you know, Jody Conrad. We had women that were uh, strong in terms of athletics and strong in terms of leadership and were um, really blazing the trail for women's athletics. And so, Having seen that and, and seeing the Pat, Pat Summits, those kind of people, having success was really encouraging. The one that stood out that's still around today, that you still hear, that I laugh at every time I hear it um, in our sport is, if, oh, this person throws like a girl. Because I think that's a compliment. If you ever watch the Women's College World Series, if you watch our, our team play, I mean, they got some pretty strong arms. Um, it's uh, kind of a... I think it's, you know, it's insulting in that aspect because you're like, there's nothing wrong with how they throw. And I think that's something that you hear, I mean, every spring, you know, from the little kids on, that's something I think that's still around. And it's definitely, I think in some ways it's a compliment because I've watched, the, I've watched a lot of strong athletes that throw the ball really well. One thing that I was very proud of our women, they were athletes and then they could be themselves afterwards. And they were treated as athletes, not as women athletes and um, that was very important to me when somebody would say oh well you're the women's coach and I'd look at them and frown and say what do you mean I'm working with athletes don't don't I felt like they were talking down to me and I hope that the women and I know that uh, plenty of them have told me that they respected that that they were an athlete a student athlete and it wasn't about men and women, it was about the pride of being the best you could be at what you love to do. The relationship that we have with the athlete is the most significant part in my mind's eye. To tell her that we care about her, to tell her that she's important to us, to value her as a person, will speak volumes, I believe, to her experience. At North Dakota State, that's who we are. We are those attributes. We wear the green and the gold because we clearly believe that we are not entitled, but that we have earned this particular right.